Hello, Alexia foodies. On today's episode, I am gonna make for you meatballs and my beautiful Sunday gravy. Now, some of you may call it Sunday sauce, sugo, meat sauce, but in my family, we always called it Sunday gravy. One thing we can all agree on, it's absolutely delicious. March 9th is National Meatball Day, and I've partnered up with my friends at Pastine to bring you my family's recipe for meatballs featuring their amazing products. So stick around, here are the ingredients you're gonna need to make this dish. Ground chuck and ground sirloin beef, pepperoni, hot Italian sausage, beef brajol, and boneless pork chops, Italian seasoned breadcrumbs, Romano cheese, red wine, extra virgin olive oil, kitchen ready tomatoes, red chili flakes, cracked black pepper and garlic salt, hot cherry peppers, garlic, fresh basil, pasta, fresh parsley, and eggs. So let's get cooking. We're gonna start by adding in some olive oil. Next, we're gonna add in some fresh minced garlic, the stinking rose. Now we're gonna add in some red chili flakes. Why? Because I love things spicy. Give your garlic a little stir and saute until slightly golden brown. So the garlic is slightly golden brown. Now we're gonna start adding in the best of the best, Pastine Kitchen Ready Tomatoes. So after I poured in all of the Kitchen Ready Tomatoes, I add about a quarter of a can of water to get out all the excess tomatoes. We can't waste pot steam. So just add the water right in. Season to taste with some garlic salt and some cracked black pepper. Now we're gonna add in some red wine. Now we're gonna add in what I call the Mama Lara Pinch because my grandmother, she always put a pinch of sugar in her Sunday gravy to get out the acidity. Now add in some beautiful fresh basil, vasinagol. Give your gravy a nice stir and reduce your heat and simmer on low. Now let's make some meatballs. We're gonna start with the ground chuck and ground sirloin. Now let's add in some fresh minced garlic, the stinking rose. Now we're gonna add in the eggs, some fresh chopped parsley, grated pecorino romano, my favorite. Now let's add in some pastine Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. Let's add a little water, season to taste with some garlic salt some cracked black pepper. Now's the fun part. Let's start mixing up the meatballs. The best way to mix a meatball is by hand and make sure you mix it really well. Don't be afraid to get into that meat. So the meatballs are all mixed. Now we're gonna start rolling the meatballs. So grab some meat and roll it up until a beautiful meatball forms. Okay, we're gonna start the process of meatball rolling. I like to lay my meatballs out on a foil sheet. Look at those meatballs. So I've added some olive oil into the pan. Now we're gonna fry up the meatballs. All right, let's get some meatballs. I grab a whole bunch at once and I bring them over to the stove. Oh yeah, that's the sizzle we are looking for. Nothing like a fried meatball. So we're gonna brown the meatballs on both sides until they are golden brown. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So when the meatballs are brown on both sides, you're gonna bring them right into the gravy. So we're gonna add in some pepperoni. I use a stick of pepperoni that I sliced up. That adds a great flavor to your gravy. 
So I always leave out about four or five meatballs before I put them into the gravy and I flatten them out like a hamburger and get them crispy on both sides. They are absolutely delicious like that. And I toss them with some of the pastine sliced hot cherry peppers. Oh gee, is that good? Oh yeah, I love this. Look at that, you put them on a paper towel. It's so delicious like this right out of the pan. So while the gravy is simmering, I'm gonna pour myself a beautiful glass of Chianti and fix myself a nice snack using these amazing cherry peppers and the beautiful meatballs. I love the combination of the fried meatballs and the cherry peppers. It is absolutely delicious. Mm. So in the same pan that we fried the meatballs, we're gonna sear the beef brajol. Now let's add in the pork. We're gonna also sear the pork. Look at that sear. So add everything right into the gravy. The beef brajol and the pork right in. Now we're gonna fry up some hot Italian sausage. Now let's add the sausage right into the gravy. Give your gravy a good stir. And now we're gonna simmer on low for five hours. So the gravy has been simmering for about four hours. Take a look at this. When the oil comes to the top, you know it's just about done. So we have about another hour to go. Look how beautiful it already looks. That smells amazing. <laughs> what time are we gonna eat? Soon, why do you have some bread? You wanna dip the bread? Yeah! Okay. It's so good! Thanks, Alex. We're gonna eat soon. Stick around. So today I'm serving up some pasta rigatoni, one of my favorite cuts of pasta. I've salted the water because why? Mama always said, salt your water, make it taste like the sea. Let's do it. Give your pasta a stir so it doesn't stick. Look how tender these meatballs are. They're absolutely delicious. I'm digging in. Now that's Italian. For this recipe and more, visit youhadmeakitchen.com. Like, share, and enjoy. <laughs> That's my favorite.